I'm Debbie Kitterman, and welcome to Lessons from the Lake. This week, I want to talk to you about speaking and pronouncing blessings. It's kind of one of the ways that we can encourage one another and we can build each other up. You know, the word encourage means to put courage in. And I don't know about you, but I need encouragement on a daily basis. And when it's coming from somebody else, it means all that much more than if it's, you know, just me trying to encourage myself. And so one of the ways that we can do that is by speaking or pronouncing blessings over somebody. And one of my favorite things to do is when I go to the grocery store is I love to look around and I love to kind of go, oh, candy is always at the front and just go, oh, what can I do to speak a blessing over somebody with a Three Musketeer candy bar or Skittles, you know, because they all have their little slogans, you know, Skittles taste the rainbow of flavor. Well, when I think of rainbows, I think of God's promises. And so I might get up to the front to the cashier and I can just be having a conversation with her. And then at the very end of our conversation, I can say something like this. May you receive all the promises that God has for you today. And you know what that does? It opens a spiritual door for the Holy Spirit and God to come in and target her for good that day. And speaking and pronouncing blessings is very biblical. They did it all throughout history in the Old Testament. And Jesus even spoke and pronounced blessings over people in the New Testament. But we are his church and we need to begin to encourage one another. When I was first teaching on this, the very first time I had a guy that was sitting in my class and he was not liking any of the blessings that I was speaking because I was talking about how God is gracious and his mercy will kiss your life. And he came to me later and he said, Debbie, I do not talk like that and I cannot do this. And so I said to him, okay, so what do you know? And he said football. And I have to be honest, I didn't know much about football at that time. So I gave him this assignment. Okay, I want you to go home and I want you to create a blessing based on the word football. And I kind of forgot about it until he came back to class the next week. And when he came back to class the next week, he said to me, oh my gosh, Debbie, you will not believe what I got. You have to hear this. You have to hear this. And I was like, okay, what are you talking about? He said, I did it. I created several blessings based on football. And I said, okay, go ahead, share it with me. And he said, here you go. May you receive all that God is passing your way today. How great is that? And it gets people wondering and people thinking, what? God's passing something my way today? But it was his language. You see, you and I are all different. The way I speak and the way I talk is going to be completely different than the way you speak and you talk. But our words matter. And God has called us to be a blessing and encouragement to one another. And we need to do that on a daily basis. Because let's be honest, the world is a dark place and it needs light and we are called to be his light. So won't you help me today by creating an atmosphere for blessing in the places that you go and the people that you meet? Would you intentionally target them for good, releasing the Holy Spirit into their life by pronouncing goodness and encouragement and blessing over them? I hope you had a great day. I will See you next week.